Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep Sangupta and you're watching Electric Vehicles. So in this video, let's do a comparison between Ola S1 model and the Ola S1 Pro model. Now mind you, Ola S1 has been launched in an introductory price of 1 lakh rupees. To avail that, you need to book the vehicle before August 31, on or before August 31 and you need to make the payment in the month of September itself. After that, the prices will be bumped up. Now, uh, recall that Ola S1 Pro was launched at an introductory price of 1,30,000 after which the prices were bumped up by 10,000 rupees. Similarly, for S1, we can expect a price rise of at least 7 to 8,000, probably another 10,000. So, in this video, we'll do a comparison keeping in mind that the Ola S1 is available for 1 lakh rupees and we will try to figure out whether the S1 Pro demands a premium of 40,000 rupees when compared to the base model. Now let's start with the feature list for both of these scooters. Most of them are similar. They both have side stand alert, reverse mode, over the air upgrades, music system, Bluetooth and GPS. Now there are certain differences in both the models in terms of features as well. For example, S1 Pro has the cruise control facility which the S1 lacks and more importantly S1 Pro has a hill hold facility. So if you are daily commuting through hills or if you live in hilly areas then the S1 Pro will better suit your requirement. Other than that the dimensions for both these vehicles are same except of course that the S1 Pro is 4 kgs heavier than the S1 model. The boot space, both of them have the similar boot space of 36 liters. Speaking of brake system, they both have the same brake setup having disc brakes in front and rear. Even the telescopic suspension and the monoshock suspension, which is the suspension setup, are also identical in both these vehicles. The tire size for both of these models stand at 12 inches. Now let's talk about the difference that these models have. They have a difference in terms of performance. First of all, the S1 model hits a top speed of 95 km per hour, whereas the S1 Pro can touch a speed of 115 km per hour. Even the acceleration for S1 Pro is quicker than the S1 model. The S1 model can touch a 40 km per hour from standstill in 3.8 seconds, whereas the S1 Pro model requires only 3 seconds. Speaking of range, they both come in different battery capacity and therefore there is a difference in range as well. The S1 Pro model comes with a claimed range of 141 kilometers, but in eco mode you should be able to get 165-170 kilometers of range. In S1 model, the claimed range is 141 kilometers, however 130 kilometers of range in eco mode should be achievable. Now there is one more aesthetic difference in both these models which is the color options. The S1 Pro comes with more number of color options as compared to the S1. In fact, if you wanted to go for the khaki color, then you might have to pay additional 10,000 rupees over the regular price of the S1 Pro model. Keeping all of this in mind and especially especially the fact that S1 model is available for 1 lakh rupees for the next few days, the difference does seem striking. If your requirement is satisfied by the S1 model, then I do think that this will serve you better given that in another 40,000 rupees, you're getting a mere 40 to 50 kilometers of additional battery range. You're getting another 20 kilometers per hour of top speed, a better acceleration. But yes, if you live in the hilly areas, then like I said, the S1 Pro model will serve you better with its hill hold facility. But if you ask me, with my current requirement and if I was in the market looking for an electric scooter to buy, the S1 model would serve me better. Tell us about your opinion, what serves you better if you are already using the S1 Pro model, then let us know your experience in the comment section. If anyone of you has already booked the S1 model, you can let your experience, uh, you can share your experience in the comment section as well. Go green, go electric.